Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Gullibop's sister responding to Amari and some claims that she made, right? And Amari basically said that the family now have money for bury Gullibop or something like that, right? So the sister did an interview with the Jamaica star and basically she had blast Amari. She has speak her mind, my people. So we're going to talk about that. And as usual, we're not going to tell more anything, you understand? Also, we're going to talk about L.A. Lewis who claims that he's going to file a lawsuit against Amari after Amari made some... Well, you can say, bold allegations that L.A. Lewis must say hold her down and take it, or he must say try hold her down and take it in the past or something like that, right, my people? L.A. Lewis actually reposted a video with Amari, of course, and we're going to talk about it, my people. I'm going to show you where he might tell Amari say she got to hear from him lawyer and stuff like that. Also, we're going to talk about Gullibat Pasta basically blasting um, Miss Dana once again. But on top of that, he might blast the bloggers them because, of course, bloggers put out news just like how I put this out and stuff like that. But I don't know why people quick for blast bloggers when time and you put out something and it go viral and people talk about it, right? So, I play the video and you can tell me anything about what Gullibat Pasta is saying. You understand what I say? And of course, that have to do with him and Gullibat going to miss Dana for some assistance and you know, no, them never get the assistance where they might look for or the reaction from Miss Dana where they did a hope for. You understand my people? So, before we go no further into the topics, my people, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. And also, head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4. But I definitely appreciate that. Right, my people? First thing we're going to talk about is Gullibat Bob's sister responding to Amari and as my same people Amari goes a boom and she must do an interview with the Jamaica star or something right because I then put out the article in relation to Gullibab's sister and it seemed like Amari must say look the family not have no money as it relates to you know burying Gullibab and all of them things do you understand now the sister forward out and make it clear say that is not the case because somebody or some I don't know if it's a company or if it's a, just a person but somebody reach out to them and basically say that they will assist in the burying of Gullibop. You understand me? I say more people. So that the, the, the funeral basically is taken care of. The expenses is taken care of. So you don't know the sister never feel pleased as it relates to Amari coming out and saying those type of stuff. And um you don't know Amari, you can't really listen to everything what she says sometimes because it's not like she and Gullibab family talk. So of course she not gonna really know what is going on directly. Zin, even though Gullibat brother did forward out and said that him know say Gullibat never have no money like that. You understand me and some people. So me did even say, all right, maybe they might make a GoFundMe page at some point. But the sister did forward out and say, them not beg a soul a dollar. Them not beg no money. They are not going to walk around and ask for money for actually help bury Gullibat. You understand? Somebody don't say, them will take care of the funeral expenses. So you don't know as it relates to Amari saying that the family are look handouts. That is a complete lie. You understand, my people? And it's good that somebody actually reach out to the family and, you know, help them decide for assist them because, of course, we know it's a gullibop at one point. Yes, him did a whole money and him did a do this and that. But you don't know. We see people coming in life and it seems like some of them people are maybe just that use him and, you know, maybe him never have certain understanding as it relates to, you know, like how much money him forget and this and that and all them things. So, you know, the whole situation is a sad one. You is where my summer people you know, this can be used as a lesson to a lot of persons for sure. You say, yo, you see, when you have money and you dip on top of things, all the people surround you, all the friends you have. But you see, when the money gone, where them people, you understand? Them gone leave you. You only can have maybe one or two friends still around you. But if you did have like 40 persons around you or 30 persons around you, how much of them are going to stay around when they don't have the money? They are going to say, sure, them can't benefit off of you no more. So, they are going to look the next person for benefit off of I just saw it go. So, artists and people in general have to look out for themselves because sometimes you look out for other people more than yourself. And maybe Gullibop was that person who does care for people. And, you know, sometimes he probably just give the woman them money and all of them things. But anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. Now, we're going to move on to this whole last thing as it relates to L.A. Lewis. Right, my people? So remember I'm telling you, say, me say LA Lewis make a post over upon him. Um 
on him Instagram page. So what he did was actually reposted. It seemed like it's a TikTok video where Amari was talking some stuff. I'm going to actually just read the caption with upon the video. Now, this caption, I suppose, is straight from TikTok. L.A. Lewis take it and post it over upon him page. And the caption say, allegedly L.A. Lewis, R.A.P.E. Amari. Right, my people? Only can see it for yourself. L.A. Lewis actually repost that. Now, I don't know whether or, not, whether or not this is true, right? I don't know the first time I hear about them type of argument here. I know at one point, L.A. Lewis and Amari was cool with each other and thing and thing. But you don't know, it seemed like certain things start to expose again since the passing of Golibop. We see Amari a blast. Um, L.A. Lewis, I'm not sure if she blasts Auntie Dana. I'm not really sure, my people. You see me, but I know she'll speak out for L.A. Lewis. I'm not sure if L.A. Lewis this or... I feel like maybe he did say something, and that is the reason why she'll speak out and expose certain things now, or I make certain allegations or something. But anyway, after L.A. Lewis post that, he said, You will hear from my lawyer in Switzerland. How dare you call the emperor name and he put some holy for seven. Now, this might just be a joke thing. Or I don't really know my people because he must say I got here from my lawyer in Switzerland. We just sound like a whole gimmicky thing. But I don't know. You understand what I mean? So we know in Jamaica, people like for throw around the word last foot easily. Here's it. But... I don't know, me, me have a video on my page over upon Mix Up Time 4 upon Instagram where Amari attack some things about L.A. Lewis and how him thing look little and it. <laughs> Yo, don't man talk some things about L.A. Lewis. You know, can go up on the page and you know, see what I talk about. She speak some things about the man too low. You see it, my people are tealy. Um, you know, she basically has said, no, it now have the look where she would have probably wanted. And she never said that way, but obviously, from she has said little and it now have no rare and most of that she tried to say. Anyway, my people, make a watch and see how this play out now. Will Amari respond to this alleged lawsuit or this lawsuit from L.A. Lewis? Only time will tell. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is um, Goliba Pasta basically blasting bloggers, blasting Miss Donna. But you don't know the thing about people. The last time he put out a video, um, it's like him say, yo, when they did reach out to Miss Donna for help, him and Golibap, you know, she could have offered some assistance and stuff like that. Remember, Miss Donna never want to get in the mix and all of that. So basically, she did just put the news out there. She put it out there. She never, you know did a collect money on his behalf and uh, whatever, right? So I guess the money would have gone straight to Golibop and thing and thing. Now we see Shana Chin or Shana Controller must say met the first I think she was the first person to give money. Yeah, me know the artist named Zamunda, dancehall artist Zamunda, him did give Golibop money as well. Yes, you must say more people so um Miss Dana never really want to take on the the whole task. You understand? And you know, we see the entertainer end up passing away. So, of course, the pastor feel like, say, you know, maybe if she did put in more input or make more effort, you know, it, it certain things would have, it, it wouldn't have happened that way yet then. You understand or whatever I'm try to say. So, what I'm going to do is leave you know, with the video, my people. You see me? Everybody have a right to speak their mind, to speak their opinion. In, and if this is what this guy here think, you see me? The only thing is that you can't forward out and blame bloggers when time when you put out things out there upon the internet. And people talk about it, you understand? I will talk about things, but now I will come out and this year and say you're the worst and you're not past and thing. But if you for forward out and blame Miss Dana, you can't blame her because she's not fair her fault, you see me? She definitely have a right for help. Who she want help, you see me? Not saying that she shouldn't help him or she should help him, you know, but if she wanted to say, Ewa, I'm going to do a big thing for Golibop, then that would be good, you know? But if she don't want to do it, then what for do? Cost the woman? We can't do that. What for does be understanding? You understand what I mean? Some people and I just that. But big up to everybody, said speed, and, you know... We just all need to live in love, peace, and harmony. Even though, you know, sometimes that is hard because sometimes the internet just get to people at times, isn't it? But that's that. Anyway, people, remember if you head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4, but I definitely appreciate that and respect to everybody who support the channel. Is it? I'm out. Right? They put him to the side. And I know that his family will can, can financially bury him. And I call one of his family and I say, my sister, I'm begging you, please, Wait to my brother Terry, praise God. I beg you, please talk to the family. And I beg you, just make sure to bury him. Don't make no social media bury him. I beg you, do not do that. And she said, Man of God, I don't know if they're going to buzz you know, because I've been talking to them for a long time and them hard, them hard against him. 
So I said, go ahead and talk to them now because this is the last part of it now. Maybe they will have a change of heart. And I know they will bury him. Amen. So when I talk, when, when, I, when I talk to LA, 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 LA was in a meeting, he said to me, Man of God, just leave Goliba funeral alone for a minute and let his family do what they might do. If nobody now do nothing for him, then we will take it up and help him and do what we have to do. You understand? So what I would like his family to put him, just send him off good. Just send him off. Because he's gonna leave, he's gonna leave an, he's gonna leave an embarrassment on the family. And I know they will bury him. Because that's the last thing they're gonna do for him, just to bury him, and that's it. He's gonna be buried. So even though they're gonna bury him, whatsoever we can do, we can still jump around and do it and do it. Whatever, whatever celebration, whatever. As you know, people celebrate people these days. So whatever they want to do or can do, it's okay. Just do it. You mean? So I am not here carrying your feelings for anyone. No, I am not that. Remember, I am Christ-like. Remember, I am Christ-like. And I cannot represent Jesus if I, if I don't have the heart of God. David could have never represent Israel if he never had the heart of God. So I have the heart of the Lord. So I cannot hear anyone who would say bad about me. Because what Jesus do to the to 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 to, to, to the people them that, 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 that nail him on the cross. He say, Father, forgive them because they know not what they have done. I forgive everybody on social media who rise up against me except the elephant. The elephant have to be reprimanded. Praise God. The elephant have to work about it. You see, and some turn against me. In the learning lesson, and some turn against me. And I put a strokes in my left hand. And if I go back in my archive in my life, when, when, when Pastor Peter prayed for him, that was me. Him left hand dry up and shrizzle up. If I could, if I could find his, um, the lady, let me see if I could find his, the lady in center, and another pastor lady in, spiritual lady in center. Me and her was on his, on his, on his, on his life. Manor was on the line. Manor was preaching. I don't know if this is her, you know. I don't know if this is her. I don't think it's her. Manor was there praying. And I take on the warfare. And when I finish, the man and get healed. Him left hand, it, it wasn't pain. It was not, it was shrink up. Him left hand shrink up. Like this hand was big. This, this hand was like a hundred. This one was like sixty percent. This one was shrink down. And when I pray for the man, and then when I pray for him and I heal him. And I come off alive, I start to cry. I said, God, I don't really want to do this again. Because the man don't even know, say, I'm me. Make him honest here, so I'm going to cry. And the Lord said to me after that, the Lord said, you heal him. But you need to take the curse off of him. Because the curse that I put on him, the spirit of souls, the curse we are cursing with, is still in him. So God said, take the curse off of him. And I take the curse off of him. I lift the curse from our time and I send it back to the pit of hell. So you see this woman here running around, running around. We're not going to see how great God is in this place. We're not going to see how great Jesus is. Praise God. We're not going to see how great him. Somebody has to stand up for Jesus in this place. Somebody has to break the back of Jezebel in this place. Somebody has to chop off Goliath's head in this place. Love it, like it, leave it. It's your business. Amen. I don't care who... Most of these, I don't really pay these social media, these bloggers in the mind because they're just running down stories just to, to, to make themselves, to make them peers run. Because most of them, this is the biggest views they ever get in the whole career. Most of them. The biggest views they ever get is from this, from this old innocent situation where I go, where I go innocently to the woman. I never say, I never deliberately ever blame God about death and, 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 and 99. What I say is Goliath never have to die so early. He could have lived a little longer. But because of because of the pride of 99. You go there. I go there. I never, I never, I never put my phone on live. I could have put my phone on live and start stream. But I, I put on my phone on my car. And I say, I'm, I'm not going to stream. This is not a streaming moment. This is a humanitarian moment. But she can find the audacity to turn on her phone. And so I say, YouTube, blah, 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 blah. come over here, so the phone is come over here, so he start the drama, and he start the drama, and he start the drama. Forget the man's story out there. But and then he take up two ninja five thousand dollar bill, and every minute the breeze, the wind of the Lord blow the money off of the car, just blow it off, just a blow it with the money like like that. 
So she never, so anybody want to talk about me, I blame her for golly about that. I mean, yes, I blame her for golly about that. Call it like that. Smoke it in a pipe. Smoke it in a pipe. Yes. God said, when, 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 when a brother come to you and ask for help, don't run him and tell him to come tomorrow. If you can help him, help him now. Help him now. Help him now. When I see him, when I see Bob, I never take up Bob's situation because I need any financial gain. You know what? When, when she give, when Bob eventually take those two, five thousand a note. When we drive off, Bob said, man of God, I want to give you some gas money, you know. I said, Bob, that good man. That good man. Because Bob now have no money. I said, that good. You know what I said? That is good. And I tell you, if I take a dollar, if I take a dollar, Goli Bob is not here to say, which I said it before, if I ever take a dollar from Goli Bob, from that woman for two, five thousand bill, and put it in the vehicle for gas, I beg God not to make me see his kingdom, not even the gates of heaven. I pray he never let me see the gates of heaven. Never let me see the gates of heaven if I ever take a dollar from Golibab out of that serpent money. Praise him, Lord Jesus. You come and talk about money. You guys don't know nothing about money. You don't know nothing about money. You don't just a run down money, run down money, run down money. I don't run down money. I can live without money. Smoke that in your pipe. I can live without money. Amen. I try to help the man. For you guys help him, when I still have support Jezebel. But God has something coming for you guys. He has something coming for you guys. He has something coming for you guys. Praise God. He has some judgment coming upon you people. Amen. Because you people that call up his name every day. Even and some talk about him go to church, I sing, I sing and I, and I carry a look of masquerade thing. I put on woman, woman, big body. I put on woman frock and I put on lipstick and wig. You think God please with the man that carry, carry like a woman? You think God please? Eh? Look at him now. 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 I'm going to live to see all of them fall. I'm going to live to see every single one of them fall. Look at the one in Ashanti. Look at him now. Look at him now. From him touch me. From him try to lift him head and, and against me. Look what happened to the serpent. Look what happened to him. He my dead for views. He my dead for everything on social media. He my dead for everything. He my run down things when I come to him. Look at him. The, 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 the landlord, no one in the house. The correct name in a quote, they will kick sheriff soon come move him out. Praise God. And the next thing again, he man the last suit and it not finish yet. Because something gonna happen to him. Something gonna happen to him. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna open my mouth and say it. Let it be done. Something gonna happen to him. You like to rise against people of God and think that you can prosper. Hey, if God is real, if God is alive, if God is well, you cannot prosper, you cannot prevail against the kingdom of God.